Welcome my friend and welcome to part number 10 in this uh, playlist so I guess it is 10 so uh, but before we get actually started I just want to thank you so much for uh, first your engagement and second for your discipline with me since part number one Th I highly appreciate your discipline and your willingness to learn and this is something that I want you to keep in mind and keep in your life until the, the last day of your life so this is a very huge advantage that you have and most of people don't have uh, that discipline that you have to follow along with this playlist especially with my long videos so thank you so much I, re I really appreciate that so in the last video if you haven't watched it yet so we have actually talked about uh, the replies how we can make a reply and uh, what is the structure or the database structure for a certain reply on a comment we have seen all of that uh, in the previous video so if you want to watch the pr all the playlist uh, there is going to be a link in the description so go and check it out if you like but in this video we're going to be talking about how we can see other people's replies we want to talk about uh, the follow invitation so because some of you wanted to wanted me to uh, you know use the follow and unfollow as a relationship between the users in this app but some others suggested that you send invitations just like how you do with Facebook you don't become a friend with uh, whoever you want no you send an invitation you get accepted then you can you will you will be able to you know make a chat with that person so we're gonna be talking about this and finally we are gonna be just uh, taking a look at a very small feature which is gonna be the log out uh, feature I have forgotten it so it's gonna be very simple and basic it doesn't it's not gonna take uh, an hour to to set up so uh, without any further I do and of course after you have subscribed and turn on the bell icon to not miss any of my upcoming content so with that said let's go so this was actually the last component that we have made previously right so I'm just gonna be uh, deleting that and we have done that previously and uh, fortunately I have found a way to actually see those uh, the replies for each uh, uh, you know uh, reply individually right well we are not going to be using any of uh, expendable uh, widgets but we are going to be using something different and something very basic trust me right so I will first just find this structure so this is the column or the parent column in, in other words so when I come here and uh, uh, you know uh, add the text and call it see replies right so we will be able to click on it and then it will pop up a new component where we can actually see the replies on that specific comment so uh, sorry for this so before we actually do anything and we, uh, we have to just uh, uh, you know prepare a certain uh, component so we can just like we can come to this one so I think we should just uh, go with this one and just uh, duplicate it we don't uh, we don't need something we, need, we are not going to be doing anything complicated here so here we want to say replies right and uh, we will need some parameters later on so here we want to delete pretty much everything we have there and we will start building it so uh, here uh, we it is kind of what we have here so to save some time let's actually copy this so I will copy this uh, whole structure but I will delete some things from it right so let's go to replies go to the structure and come here and paste that so I will paste it and then I will get rid of this one so you know I think we should keep the likes so uh, I haven't thought about it previously so I can I first need to delete this uh, you know I'm just gonna delete this we don't need them but since we will keep this so let's go to back to the database so we can make the necessary changes so we can match this new feature so we can come here and go to replies first and we want to say replies so or it, let's just keep it user likes so this is very simple very basic and you know it is very easy just like how we did with the user likes for uh, you know posts we did that previously if you remember so we have some errors you know due to these things 
you know require from from data data that we don't ha actually have so we're gonna delete that we'll come here again delete it and we also need to come here and delete everything all the things need to needs to be deleted uh, so the total icon also needs to be deleted so delete all the, the properties because we want to do something very different new so uh, now what we need to do so first things first so this needs to be uh, a list view right or a column if it is scrollable it will do the same as a list view so let's just replace it with a list view just like that and so we'll just come down here so when i click on shrink wrap so it can be shrunk like just like how you saw it and uh, so now what we sh what we need to actually do so first things first we uh, all those things to replace we need actually to see we need to s we need some uh, component parameters and what are these component parameters in your opinion so for me i think we should know actually uh, uh i think the only thing that we need is gonna be uh you know it is this one right we need the comment we are gonna be passing that as a parameter and we are gonna be using that to filter the replies that we want to see so as, as you will see it is very simple so we're gonna come here and add comment right uh, sorry we're gonna comment and so what is the comment i will just make it and go back to show you so we can make sure that you are on the right path as, as you can see you see the comment sorry so i will uh, you see comment is a document reference from comments so the same that we have done here you see so now uh now we have just made a parameter we haven't passed it yet because uh we there is no widget that shows this one that shows this component right so let's first configure it and later on we can think of what can show it so we can pass that parameter in uh, or inside the navigation so what should we do right now so it is very basic let's actually do backend call so we want to query collection which is called replace so uh, you know since replace is a sub collection of post we need to know which post we want to pick up uh you know the, the replies for so i think so if we just uh, keep it like this it should be great but uh it's, uh, it's gonna be m much more better actually if we use uh you know a post reference here you see so uh, for each reply it belongs to a post and to a comment at the same time so we can consider this one so the one that i have just showed you uh right here which is the uh, you know uh this one as the first filter and the second filter will be with comments which will be the second filter right so let's add the second filter and you know ignore the other one because we are going to be making it or i think actually we can ignore it so let's ignore it. let's keep it simple and you see it won't make any difference so the comment that the the replies belongs to needs to be equal to this one that we have just passed right so this filter will show us only replies for a specific comment right confirm and this needs to be so you guys can know since we have made the backend call now this should be username this should be uh you know the tags and this should be actually you know so should be the uh, the image of course and you know this should be actually uh i think so it's not i think but it is obvious it's gonna be the number of user likes and number of items confirm that and this is the last thing we need to be configuring here so uh since it is a toggle icon as we used to do so condition action is going to say if so i'm going to say that uh, so what should we do actually so we want to say if uh yes it is if uh, again if user likes 
this could change me i will take myself out if it does contain me i will push myself in so if this could change item i am that item or my reference is that item or confirm confirm is true it really it, uh, it truly contains me then i will take myself out right so update uh you know uh, yes document the reply that we are inside of so the reply that we, we need to say this one and the field is the user likes of course so user likes we want to remove from set what we need to remove from that set we need to remove uh, i think we need to remove ourselves right and then we can just copy it so i'm doing th this fast because we already we have already made it so uh, we want to add set we want to just close it and finally we need to control so by the way i'm so sorry because i have ha i have i have been hidden or hiding this part of the screen sorry for that so i make sure i put myself down here so what should we do so the final thing to do is to just you see configure the widget and to do so we need to come down here to the toggle view and say this if so if you if you want it to be on then you need to be actually here you need to you need to have been already like it that certain uh, reply so list can the list needs to contains this item which is you of course so if it contains you then it should be like this if it doesn't then it should be like this and right so we want to just write wrap this inside the container so the space can be a little bit limited you see but we can still scroll right so for the height it should take for example like like uh, you know 50 percent and so uh, we already we can wrap it again in the column so we can add the button below it to dismiss that that say something that says that this is just for uh, navigating back so i to have an action or navigate back or should i do dismiss right because we are inside a component so we we'll dismiss that and as you can see the this column is expanded let's shrink it a little bit and here we go that is all we have so we can add a padding like this so for this one we can add a padding down here and i think that everything is ready so uh, all we have to do is to go back to the post page and when, w when we click here we need to open uh, or add action here this needs to show actually uh, needs to show us the component which is called replies which has uh, you know which has some uh, parameters to pass and the so since this belongs to a comment it should get the reference so let's go to the comment and get the reference this one so we have now one error to fix which is gonna be like just uh, since we have used a filter we need to you know deploy the rule first so we need to deploy the rules as well as the the indexes right so we need to deploy uh, the indexes that's pretty much what we need so now we have done that and now i would just want to talk with you a little bit about uh, you know the future of this app so uh, most of you have suggested that we need we go with uh, invitation but uh, to be honest i'm going to be using both of them and i will i will explain why so for the follow and uh, the unfollow method that you you see on instagram and some other social media platforms like uh, you know like uh, twitter so we are going to be using that but when it comes to actually being able to chat with a certain user you cannot just do it by being becoming a follower so uh, uh, you need to actually send an invitation or a chat invitation to that person so and if he accepted that then we can actually 
start chatting with him or with her so in this way i'm combining the follow and the unfollow method of uh, instagram and the invitation of facebook so in this case you will be learning both of them and i think that this is uh, uh, the right choice for all of us and uh, uh, you know when it comes to the logout feature that i have told you about in the beginning of this video it is going to be very simple just to find out where to put it and you are good to go so it doesn't require to do any tutorial about it so uh, thank you so much for watching i hope that you have liked this video it was short because i'm a bit tired and i try i did my best to make this video for you guys so if you appreciate my effort and uh, my sacrifice and uh, the way i teach you so and for free that's uh, that is the cool thing about this uh, so if you if you do really appreciate my work and if it does help you so i really appreciate you support my work on coffee again the link in the first link in the description so go and support me with uh, what you can and also uh, don't forget to leave me a, a private message from you i will really appreciate your support so if you want to watch the next video so it should appear right here on screen of course if it was already posted if it wasn't then subscribe and turn on the bell icon so when it is posted you will be the first one to be notified and you will not miss that video so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video